hide everything. All right, guys. So we're back in uh, Wikipedia API search for free code camp. We've created our search term. Uh, let's go ahead and put some comments in here. Gets uh, search input, and then here um, we'll just go ahead and put API URL with search input. With well, you know search term, search term. All right. So what we need to do next is do a AJAX call. I am going to copy, actually, I'll type it all out so that we can go piece by piece. So we're going to do it within the click function that we're uh, calling here on the search ID. We're going to go ahead and create Ajax call. So Ajax, like get is uh, another way to get a JSON file. So we create the Ajax. So there's a couple things we're going to need here. Um, first is what type of call are we doing? We're doing a get call. We need to get the information. Um, next, we need to know where we're going to get it from. It's the URL. So we're going to go ahead and set URL to URL. Probably could have given it a better uh, term. This async, I wish I could explain it in more detail, but um, it's just a data thing, and I don't fully understand it. Um, but it works when it's false. I can tell you that much. So what type of, what type of data do we need? We want the data type of JSON. JavaScript object notation. And then we need to do some stuff when it's a success. And we need to do some stuff when it's a failure. So let's go ahead and just do function, data. And then when it's success, success, do some stuff. And then when it is a failure, do some stuff as well. So we'll go, or error, excuse me. So we need to set the error if you know everything crashes when it happens and we'll, uh, we'll input an error message here parameter and then we can just go ahead and console alert something that says like error all right so how do we want to test this json call the um, first thing we do is just console.log out the data so we know that our we know that our URL is correct, and we know that our search term is working. We've already tested that as we go along. So let's go ahead and in here type in um, uh, good or God. We'll type in God. Let's see what comes up with God. And so you'll see right now it's outputting our data here. Now um, let's see what that looks like when we see it as a uh, let's go when we get the actual json object so go ahead and do god one more time so that you can see exactly what's getting displayed so let me go ahead and open up postman i suggest everyone use it or something similar postman is a chrome application that you can store your apis in so it's really helpful when you're doing a bunch of api calls and as they get more complicated with authentication tokens and session tokens it's really going to be helpful so you we're going to go ahead and see everything that's going on here so it looks like we have an array that this is the search term and then we have kind of the heading and an array with the heading and then we're going to have an array with the description and then we're going to have an array with a link to each each one of those pages so this is what our JSON object looks like and works like so let's go ahead and see if we can get out a the first one so we, we don't really need the search term what we do need is the 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 heading and the the um, the text and the um, a ref the uh, a tag so let's go ahead and just get the that first one so if you remember we have it's an array so data 0 would be the search term data 1 would be the the uh, anchor tag and then we're gonna choose the first object in there so then we can do the same thing so that should be the anchor tag and then we're gonna have we're doing do the same thing for that as well now except we want the description of the first object or the zero or first 
input first index of the array or the zero index. So we will say do the same thing now, and this should be for the heading. And let's go ahead and clear our console and see what happens when we save it and search. So do it one more time for God. And then you'll see there's our title, there is our our, our uh, description, and oops, and there is our Wikipedia. So the reason it looks, remember that it prints out this one first, that one second, this one third. So it is working in in order. So in the next video, what we'll do is we're gonna basically set up how to. Um, do the search and then concatenate the data correctly outward and then we will also show how to clear this so that if you search again it just doesn't and the way I set it up concatenate on top of it and then you have two searches displaying and then we're gonna style it in the next the video after that so see you guys then thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and support on patreon thanks guys Hey guys, make sure to check out my Twitch API videos, which will be coming out pretty soon, as well as my new series, Drunk Developers, where I ask questions on how did you get into the field, what was the favorite thing you ever did, what languages do you recommend learning for a beginner, all this sort of stuff while having drinks. So I hope you guys enjoy that and keep an eye out for it. See you next time.